Today on Cabela's Deer Gear TV, we're looking into the topic of optics. From binoculars and spotting scopes, to rifle scopes and range finders. All this and more here on Cabela's Deer Gear TV. Optics are such a wide topic to, to discuss when it comes to hunting scenarios. Uh, you know, your, your rifle scopes, you know, fixed variable powers, you know, big, small, cheap, expensive, binoculars, you know, all the different variations of binoculars out there. You can put them in a little bitty one in your pocket, the big, giant ones. Spotting scopes are another area. Range finders, I mean, all of that to me kind of sums up optics as a whole. Um, but the, key, the coolest thing about optics is, man, they're so important. There's so many different variables uh, in hunting and no one set is probably gonna be your end all be all. Some, you know, the old three by nine, you can use that in so many different scenarios out there. A good, uh, you know, eight to 10 power set of binoculars. I mean, you're gonna perform in a lot of situations, but when you start climbing mountains and long range shooting and low light and fog and rain, you, you probably need to really digest what you're looking for when it comes to optics. You need to really start looking at the, the advantages and the disadvantages of each particular uh, product out there and uh, spend the time when it comes time to make that purchase because you really will benefit from understanding the benefits, the advantages, and the disadvantages when you get into some of those specific situations. You know, me personally, when it comes to a rifle scope, I want one that's gonna, it's very durable because I'm gonna bang it around in my side-by-sides, climbing up on mountains, in and out of tree stands. Um, so I like a good quality mid-priced scope in those situations. I want one that's bright, gathers light, low light situations. Early morning, late in the evening, cloudy days, that's when deer tend to move the most. And uh, I wanna be able to gather that light. Um, I'm kind of fairly traditional. I, I like a traditional crosshair for a hunting scope. Uh, so I can focus on my aiming point. And I know there's all different kinds of uh, different, you know, setups now when you start looking inside a, um, the crosshairs of, of a traditional rifle scope and, and I'm not saying any are better or worse. I'm just telling you, I like a traditional crosshair. Uh, red dot, green dot, another scenario. You start looking at uh, some of the different handgun opportunities out there, even on the shotguns and things. Um, love. The, the red dot, green dot type scenarios for a lot of the hunting situations, but you gotta practice with them. Get used to that bouncing, get used to that movement out there. Open sights, I mean, it's still the most traditional way to hunt. Heavy cover, open areas, whatever it may be. Uh, you want something as bright as you possibly can find in those types of situations so that you can really focus on your aiming point uh, when you're out there in the field. So all of these different scenarios when it comes time to pick where you're going to be aiming, how you're going to be aiming, and, and are, are so key. And it requires you to spend some time studying each one of them to find out what's going to work best for you as well as what meets your uh, price point and your budget. When we return, we dive into the specifics of choosing what optics are going to work best for you. Deer Gear is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Yamaha's proven off-road ATVs and side-by-side -side vehicles. Garmin Zero Bow Sight. Leave the guesswork behind. We know if you found one crappie, you may have found a thousand. We know the joy of getting your boots back in the mud. We know the journey can be more rewarding than the destination. We know the great outdoors. We love the great outdoors. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Stop by today for huge savings on the gear you need and the brand you trust. Plus free two day shipping at BassPro.com and Cabela's.com. How do you aim a 36-yard shot with a 30-yard fixed pin at a 15-degree angle with a 7-inch holdover without moving a single pin? Easy. You get one of these. Zero. The auto-ranging digital bow sight from Garmin.
As we talk about optics, let's look at what every hunter relies on before even raising the gun, and that is having a good pair of binoculars. You know, binoculars, you know, once again, they come in a lot of different budget, price point, uh, quality, light gathering capabilities, focal uh, aspects as far as focusing on very fast. Um, I like a, a you know, mid-weight type of binoculars that's armored, uh, that's waterproof, fogproof, uh, going to be able to stand the conditions that I'm going to beat them up and put them through. Um, man, I'm the world's worst about, you know, my gear being on top of my my side by side driving off, hanging it upside down in a deer stand, dropping it. It's just, I, you know, I expect my equipment to perform and be durable enough that if I make mistakes and drop it, it's, it's still gonna be good to go. But you know, those are the things I look for when it comes to binoculars. When you look at me in a hunting situation, I'd say eight out of 10 days, I'm gonna have a set of binoculars strapped to me. Uh, a lot of times I don't wear them when I'm bow hunting because I don't want them interfering with the draw, but they're gonna be very nearby so I can grab them right away. I don't go out in the field without a set of binoculars when I'm hunting, it's just a must do. Uh, not only to be able to spot deer at long distances, study the brush line, study the edge, but it's also to be able to identify characteristics of, of deer that I may have spotted on, a, on, a, on my scouting camera. I mean, I put stealth cams out all year long for the reason to be able to help me identify deer, look for characteristics, be able to see it and go, that's him. He goes behind a tree, I can grab my bow, grab my rifle, whatever we do, and be ready. So, uh, you know, binoculars are just a crucial part when it comes to hunting. The power and magnification uh, of binoculars are something that a lot of people will debate. You know, the Western guys may want more power, the, the guys in the brush, you know, they want a little less power so they get a bigger field of view. Um, 10 power is probably my go-to more often than not. And I find when I do go way up in magnification or way go or way down because I'm so used to the tens and that's what I've, I've spent the most time using, I can big eye or small eye certain game animals because I'm used to a certain set of magnification. So I've trained my eyes for a long time and I'm used to that and, and that's primarily what you see me use more often than not in the field. Continuing on about optics, let's turn our focus to rifle scopes. One giant in that industry is Trigicon. Through innovation and excellence, Trigicon has earned the accolades of dedicated hunters and professional outfitters the world over. Whether you're hunting North American game or stalking one of Africa's big five, there's a Trigicon optic that can help you take your trophy. Hi, I'm John Fink, product manager of Magnified Optics at Trigicon. We're here at the 2019 SHOT Show and uh, walking through some of our new products for 2019. This is one of our new long range offerings in a four and a half to 30 by 56. We also have a five to 50 by 56. But the four and a half to 30 by 56 that we have here, okay, this comes in both a first and second focal plane. Um, and both of those are available in an MOA or an MRAD reticle. You've got fully adjustable turrets on this and this is resettable to zero. And that's very easily done in just a few minutes once you get the, the rifle zeroed in. You've got complete adjustment on your windage as well, and this does come with a windage restrictor plate, so you can limit that windage to a half a rotation of turn to keep somebody from, you know, inadvertently over-rotating it and not knowing exactly where they're at. You've got parallax adjustment down to 10 yards, and you've got five LED green settings and five red LED settings, 10 total obviously there. These scopes are all built on the 34 millimeter tube, which provides up to, or provides 100 MOA of adjustment. So there you go, new for 2019, the four and a half to 30 by 56 and the five to 50 by 56 from Trigicon. Really what Trigicon is no, known for is, you know, the, their brilliant optics. And what we have here, you know, is battery free illumination in the AccuPoint line. And which is really critical in, in hunting and making you a more successful and more confident hunter. As you can see here, you know, we, we have fiber optic, which gives you daylight brightness. So when you look through this scope and look through our reticle at the center, this is going to give you a green dot that you can instantly draw your eye to. And again, it's because it's fiber optic, it's completely battery free. When light levels get really low, in the center of that, you also have a tritium vial. Tritium is actually a radioactive material very low radioactivity, but that will actually glow in the very low light and, and even in no light. So that's where the, the battery free illumination, but it gives you a very clear, concise, bright and brilliant aiming point. 
when you're looking through the scope and you're putting that on your deer's shoulder or whatever the game is you're hunting, it gives you the confidence then just to pull that trigger and get the job done. I mean, in terms of, of the breadth of range of what we offer, you know, we have everything for the, from the dangerous game hunter, you know, in, in a one to four or a one to six power range, you know, all the way up to a five to 50 for that extreme long range target shooter or somebody who is, you know, shooting long range for hunting. But we've got a full range of product specifications in between. And of course, you know, the most popular out there is a three to nine by 40. That's been the standby for everybody for, for decades. So we've got a great assortment of three to nine by 40s in there as well. You know, the feedback that I get from hunters in the field, they talk about one, the durability, how it never fails them, how it always holds up in all conditions, but just also the brilliant clarity of the glass you know, in all lighting conditions. And this really just plays into the confidence of helping them make that shot of a lifetime. You can always go to the Trigicon website at www.trigicon.com. You can visit us on Facebook. Um, and then of course, you know, through the dealer network out there uh, of going into a dealer store and actually talking to the people behind the counter that are selling our product. When we return, we'll check out if a spotting scope is what you need for your next hunting trip. Deer Gear is brought to you by Performance Center by Smith & Wesson. Performance when it matters most. Hi-Viz. See what you've been missing. Ten-point crossbows. Perfection lives here. Thompson Center. America's master gun maker. The all-new Yamaha Wolverine X2. With a compact chassis, perfect for exploring tight technical terrain. An ultra-quiet and smooth 850-class twin-cylinder engine. And next-level versatility with a 600-pound dumping cargo bed. No other side-by-side -side delivers this level of proven off-road performance. The all-new Wolverine X2 from Yamaha. For those with an insatiable desire to pursue all Mother Nature has to offer, Thompson Center delivers the ultimate in versatility with the interchangeable TC Encore Pro Hunter, giving shooters over 50 configurations including handgun, rifle, shotgun, and muzzle loader. The TC Encore Pro Hunter, one gun to chase all your dreams. Spotting scopes have grown popular when it comes to hunting out west. Wade had a recent hunt out in the grasslands of Wyoming where he made sure to bring along his spotting scope. Optics, I mean, you've got to have great optics when you go west. Uh, without question, you've got to be able to spot those small telltale flickers of the tail and, and antlers in the, in the grass and, and just movement. And you've got to have magnification uh, more so out west a lot of times than you do need in the east. You know, when I'm hunting back east or even in Texas, eight and 10 power binoculars are, are fine. I don't use a spotting scope as much, but when I go west, it's going into my backpack. I like it very powerful binoculars. I want to be able to have that magnification so that I can glass into those valleys, into that brush and, and look for things. You know, not everybody really has a need for a, a good spotting scope. Guys that hunt uh, big long senderos in Texas, guys that hunt big food plots, guys that hunt way out west and are climbing mountains and glassing along valleys, big alfalfa fields. A uh, huge reason to have a, a spotting scope in those situations. It allows you to study game from long distances for a spot and stock. Uh, be able to study their movements, where they're going, where they're bedded down. I mean, so many, so many reasons, you know, where you can magnify to that, you know, 30 to 45 or more power in those situations. Um, good, a good tripod to hold them steady in those situations will really pay off for people. Uh, so, you know, in those types of situations for me, I want a very simple, easy to use focal point uh, with a zoom on it after that. I want to be able to zoom it in and out really fast. I'll start wide, find my target, zoom it in, focus, and really be able to look at the clarity of them. Um, in Texas, a lot of times people use spotting scopes to really define and determine 
the, a lot of their management deer, the same reasons. They want to be able to get in and study them and age them. So that's the reason why a spotting scope is such a key asset to a lot of hunters nationwide. One area where we like to use our spotting scopes is down at the range. It saves time and steps in making sure our firearms are accurate and everything is working the way it's supposed to. Let's join Wade and the crew at the range now. You know, when you get down to the range, it's a great place to practice um, exactly like you might be hunting in the field. Uh, you know, whether you're going to be kneeling, shooting, you know, out a window in a blind, freehand, uh, or off of shooting sticks. You know, and in this case, however, we're sighting in our, uh, our long range rifle from the performance center. And so we want it in basically locked down as good as we can. So we've got a Caldwell shooting supplies, uh, you know, bag here that's actually like a vice so that we're going to have confidence in our zero. The next step after that will be actually shooting it off of shooting sticks to mimic what we might be doing in the field. Uh, for, uh, you know, so that we can get confidence on how the gun's going to sit there, how it's going to perform there. And uh, when you combine all that together of knowing off the bench we're deadly accurate with a shooting stick scenario, you've got a recipe for success. I left. Yep. Good shot. Shoot uh, two more right. I think you go ahead and take it down. Okay. Little high. That one was about perfect. Yeah. Shoot one more just to see where it hits. Okay. Just at the top, a little bit on the left hand side. Just drop it one click down. I think we're good there. Cool. More from Cabela's Deer Gear TV when we return. Deer Gear is brought to you by Conquest Sense, Hunting and Dog Sense, Sawyer Products, we keep you outdoors, Wiley X, Absolute Premium Protection. Feed your need for speed. The Nitro XRT unleashes speeds up to 470 feet per second, producing 25% flatter arrow trajectory, resulting in knock-breaking accuracy and unprecedented knockdown power. The world has never seen a crossbow this fast, accurate, and compact. The Nitro XRT from 10 Point. As we wrap up our conversation about optics, let's get Wade's final thoughts. There's no doubt when you start looking at high-end optics, I mean, they're gonna outperform, they're gonna be very clear, they're gonna be very durable, they come with some great warranties, uh, but that mid-price point level has got some phenomenal product line as well. And I've even seen some of these entry-level price point scopes that I've looked, they blow me away in their features and their capabilities. So, you know, when you as the consumer start looking through the, some of these, I suggest spending time in a location that has a lot of them. The Bass Pro Shops, Cabela stores, they generally have a large selection. You can get in there and try them out, look at them, do some, uh, spend some time looking at the reviews. It's a great feature when you look at the dot coms on the websites or both those sites on what other people have seen. And then, you know, look and pay attention to what you're going to use it for and it will really help you out at the end of the day. Don't hesitate to visit your local Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Their friendly staff will be able to assist you in finding the right set of optics for your next hunting adventure. There are some hunters who may not need a rifle scope when they go out hunting. There are many hunters who hunt deer with shotguns, and High Viz has an amazing sight that you can put on your shotgun for the upcoming deer season. So we have our TriViz sight uh, mounted here in our shotgun. It's a front and rear sight. It's 
fully adjustable for wind engine elevation. This is a unique sight. It has a not conventional sight picture. Instead of having a U-notch with uh, two dots in the rear and a dot in the front, this one actually has three triangle points. Um, so you align the top tip of the front triangle right center with the two triangles in the rear sight. One of the unique things about this sight is you have a full view of the target. Uh, conventional sights obscure the target from the top of the sight down and this gives you the ability to see around the, the entire sight and see the target. The Trivis has a unique sight alignment. You'll notice here on the rear sight we have two triangles. And if you were to draw a line across the tips of those two triangles, you would align that with the tip of the triangle on the front side. Uh, the rear has a windage adjustment. We have a windage screw lock on the top here, and the two light pipes move together as one unit to adjust your windage. And then the front side, we have a triangle, and we'll be changing these triangles out from taller to shorter to adjust our elevation. The tri is will fit rib widths from about six millimeter a quarter inch up to three eighths or 10 millimeter or just a little beyond. The way you mount the rear side is you spread the side apart or flex it apart over the rib and then push it into the vent. We have two screws that mount through the rear sight and they clamp it and self-center the sight on the rib. The front sight attaches with a single screw in place of the bead. The factory bead will unthread in most cases and the, the sight will just simply install in, in place of it. It comes with five thread sizes to fit almost every shotgun on the market. Uh, there's a few exceptions, but it's not very many. A lot of times we get questions about the rear sight or the sight set in particular and the durability of it, and especially the rear sight as far as snagging it or possibly breaking it. You can carry the gun by the rear sight. What I love most about this sight is it's very, very rugged. I run around in the brush, I'm constantly uh, beating myself and my shotgun up, and you can't destroy this thing. It's going to stay on there. You're not going to be able to knock it off. It's going to stay in place, um, sighted in so that you can get your turkey out in the field. We have the Hi-Viz tri -viz sight mounted on this shotgun. And what I love particularly most about this, this sight is I'm a rifle shooter. Um, I've been shooting rifle most of my life. And a lot of shotgun shooters have a hard time getting their head down on the cheek piece enough. And so with this sight, it ensures that, makes sure that you get your head down far enough to make sure you take a good shot. The great thing about the, the Trivis is it has two points on the rear sight and one in the front. So it helps you line it up. You can still see the entire turkey or it works great for deer as well. And uh, this sight is really great, really bright, and we're excited about taking it out in the field. Visit HighVizSites.com to learn more and get your very own TriViz site. Before we go, we would like to urge all of our viewers to always be safe when at the range, hunting in the field, or just riding around on your side-by-side -side and ATVs. Wear eye and ear protection when dealing with firearms like Wiley X eyewear and Walker's game ear to protect yourself in case something goes wrong. When riding in your UTV like we love to do in our Yamahas, be sure to fasten your seatbelt, wear your helmet, wear eye protection, and clothes that fully cover your body. Make sure you are practicing safe and responsible driving. Be cautious going around turns, driving up or down hills, and even at night. All these things are important to your safety, and if you follow these steps, it will give you a much more enjoyable time in the outdoors. That will do it for us here on Cabela's Deer Gear TV. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Protect it or lose it. 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 Protect it or lose it.
for precise prescription eyewear. Wiley X knows there's no room for error. We meticulously craft our own prescription lenses to fit our high wrap frames. And our ANSI safety rated lenses are tested to uncompromising standards. Nothing but precise. Because precision is everything. Many said that we were just obsessed when we started. That there had to be an easier way to smoke food. As time passed, the Bradley family created a lineup of Bradley electric smokers that has made it easier for the novice or even expert chef to get perfect results every time they use it. Grab yourself a Bradley smoker and take your cooking to an all new level. We plan all year for this. We hone our skills we have confidence in the gear we choose. We pour over thousands of images and videos. When the time comes, will you be ready? Introducing the all new 4K camera by Stealth Cam. Proven. What does it take to make Evercom deer scent? It takes a deer farmer who raises whitetails. It takes mixing the special blend of Evercom, testing each batch. Smells like deer. And then pouring each container. Each container is cleaned, examined, and packaged for shipping. It takes the finest deer herd and a great team of people to make the best hunting scent available. Evercom, from Conquest Scents. Want to know why the top shooting pros choose HiViz? HiViz has an enormous lineup of sights for every shooting platform possible that are clean looking and easy to mount. Improve your shooting with faster target acquisition and eliminate cross-eyed dominance. HiViz sights are the brightest out there, helping you find your target with ease no matter the shooting conditions. Choose the best, choose HiViz, and see what you've been missing. Nobody likes crawling, creepy, or flying bugs. So ward them off with Sawyer Permethrin. It's more than a repellent. This odorless spray repels and kills mosquitoes, ticks, and more than 55 other kinds of insects. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. We demand a lot from the products that we use on our adventures around the world. When it comes to keeping things seriously cold, we rely on Angle Coolers, who have for over 50 years kept things cold. Angle Coolers, the original high-performance cooler. God, country, and the great outdoors. That's how my dad raised me. So it was only natural that I joined the United States Army. That's when I first used Trigicon. I used them again as a civilian police officer for 12 years. Now I'm blessed to hunt all over the world, and I only want the best optics on the planet, Trigicon. Dan Catlin, former U.S. Army, military police. Trigicon, brilliant aiming solutions.